All right, it's Honest Gas here again. I'm just, uh, I still only have about like 30 minutes left in my video here. I don't see any like art or anything to see. Hello there. So I guess we'll just kind of walk outside. Oh man, it really looks like it's about to rain. Hey, how's it going? Uh, is there any cool art that you know of around here? Any what is? Cool art. Uh, at the airport? Oh no, in, in just uh, Terminal A. Oh, that's Oops, okay. The, the architecture is cool. D. Yeah, I actually just visited Terminal D. Yeah, that's that's yeah. a really cool place. I don't think there's uh, any here at all. And which direction is uh, the dart rail? Uh, straight that, that way. way. Yes, all the way down. I hope there's nothing interesting that way. Okay, Doki, thank you all so right, much. You're you see, guys, I think that if if we just do things in a different way, we can actually really get pretty good reactions from people. Uh, um, I think people really try, just kind of try and get a little get a little antsy around people pointing cameras at them, you know. So uh, I don't get a lot of negative reactions. I think sometimes people on the road, maybe, maybe I'm not understanding what they're actually saying. I think I think I, I think that they're saying hi and, and telling me hello and stuff. Hello. Uh, but it, uh, apparently, some people are actually kind of screaming out, you know, profanities or something. I don't really know. Uh, because I'm just going to give them the benefit of the doubt anyway. Uh, da, da. So, oh, there's a pretty cool wheelchair. Let's make sure we don't get this. I'll point, I'll point it up. That's pretty cool, guys. Let's see. Look at that. Oh, it's, it's hard to see because the, the light background, but there's, there's a sign there. The terminal link. These are pretty cool. I've actually been, oops. Hey, a limousine. Limousine. Cool, so cool. I don't want to get it too much. I think that's just so cool. Especially if you can afford it. I actually know somebody who uh, drives a, a limousine for work and uh, he's actually taking us out to go see some of the, uh, ooh, it smells really good out here. He's actually taking us out to see the uh, Christmas lights. When I was uh, younger. Okay, so there's Terminal A. That's what that says. DFW. So we're just kind of on our way over to the Dart Rail Station so we can maybe get a, sorry, so we maybe be able to get a uh, um, little audit going of the, of the uh, uh, DFW Dart Rail Station. Um, this is a special I was really kind of expecting to do customers. Dallas today, but it really does look like uh, the weather is not going to allow it. Oh, look, another police car. There's a police car there. I keep holding the side of the phone, and it appears that I'm accidentally touching the mic. But that's really cool, guys. Look at that. They always look so nice and clean. I'm really glad because we spent a lot of money on them, so they, they have to be nice and clean. Hello, sir. I see the... Man, this camera is bad. I was just saying there's the uh, uh, monorail back there in the background. And it, oh, it's starting to rain a little bit more. Oh no, a tow truck. Oh, that sucks, guys. Everybody's gotta make a living somehow, right? It's just, it's just a shame that tow trucks are practically necessary. And uh, if you don't know anything about tow trucks, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's mostly because people just they, they, they really just kind of take advantage of, of uh, uh, opportunities like rent, uh, you know, getting a new car. But a lot of times those people that want to sell them the car are trying to get them to buy more than they need. And so they, they uh, go in looking for a cheap car, but no one will give them a loan for a cheap car. <laughs> so they're kind of convinced to get this uh, car that they, uh, that's so much more than they need so that they can actually get the loan. And then, uh, and then as soon as they find out that they can't afford the car, they've already spent thousands of dollars getting the car and then it gets taken away. You know, so it's just like, if you're, if you're ever trying to get a car, you always wanna do so much research. I mean, buying cars should take you months to do, not just days, months to uh, research into which car is good for you and, and how, to, how to get it. In fact, it's always good to uh, save up for at least, uh, at least half if not a third of the 
of the actual cost of the vehicle so that you can get it much sooner. Because the longer it takes for you to pay it off, the more taxes you're going to pay in the, uh, uh, um, in the uh, interest. It looks like we've, this is, huh, that's actually a sign for limousines there. That's pretty cool. Hello, sir. There must be a lot of dignitaries that come through here. Oh, I almost got dripped on there. Must be a lot of dignitaries that come through here because these cars look like they're a, uh, act actually a, um, oh, oh, it's raining. Oh, oh, it's raining. It's raining. Whew. Hey there. And uh, let's see. I'm going to try and point it up a little bit. I hate to show you guys the ground, but maybe up is a little better. There. I actually see some kind of uh, uh, another structure there. Oh no, it's raining. Oh, it's raining. Oh, I forgot my, and Mia without my umbrella, of course. Uh, man, I was really caught off guard by dad coming back. Um, I was actually at, at his house dropping off the car and I was gonna go to the train station and uh, hit up Dallas, but I guess, I guess, I guess it was actually kind of good timing because had I already gone to Dallas, I would have had to have gone all the way back and then taken a car. Uh, up there and then we'd have been really out of the light uh, and uh, as well as been caught in the rain. What I'm gonna try and do as much as I can before I get soaked and uh, hopefully it'll be an interesting video still. Let's see here. And me without my hoodie too. I, I really came ill prepared. I should have my gloves, I should have my light, I should have my uh, umbrella, but I don't have any of those things. It actually looks like those uh, umbrella things are the are the uh, um, uh, train station. Yeah, it looks like it might be the train station. Hey there. Uh, oh, it looks like there's something pretty over here. Some kind of walkway, some kind of pathway. That actually might be the pathway to the... Oh. Oh. I gotta go down a little. Of course I gotta go down a little. I'll just didn't think that I had to go this way for that. Uh. But it looks like there's a cool yeah, a bridge here to keep me dry. Make sure I don't get hit by a car. I won't take the elevator, even though it's uh, tempting. Just won't make for a very interesting video there. Let's see here. Okay. We are seven, almost eight minutes in. Level two. Ah, level, okay. Go down to level one, which makes sense. Man, I really hope there's a water fountain somewhere near. But I, I uh, meant to get some water when I was at the bathroom earlier, but I guess I forgot. I'm a little distracted with the janitor. Tell him thank you for all this good hard work. Let this person pass. Pretty cool, it looks like a, I think it's a Camaro or something like that. Oh. So, it looks like we actually have a pretty cool garden over here. Sorry guys, it looks, oh look at that cactus. That's pretty cool. Oh, I keep putting my finger on the other mic. Sorry sir, let me point it down for you. Oh, they're nice and dry over here. All right, so we are almost there. Almost at the dart station. I don't know what other videos I'll do today. Maybe I'll do one of the Arapahoe Station as well. Or, or Gallatin, or maybe just uh, stop here and there, uh, do, do a number of stuff. Maybe City Place. I could totally do City Place, because that's underground. Oh, yeah. Let's just keep on going. It looks like the rain is actually picking up. Well, I hope I didn't have that face. Hello, sir. I hope I didn't have that guy's face in there. Let's just kind of point it around there. I'll try and make sure I don't get anybody on the camera there. That's so cool. It's actually like a bird's nest in the chimney. Oh, it looks like I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss my, the next train. But let's check it out. Let's uh, get a ticket first anyway. Maybe we won't have to wait too long. All right, so I think I remember showing you guys earlier. There's the uh, 
There's the ticket information. Let me get my wallet out. Oh, my light's on. Oh, man, how long has that been on? Ah, I do actually have my light, it seems. Where's my wallet? Oh, there it is. Close up my bag here. All right. Let's check it out. So uh, let's do adult here. Push the button. We'll do a day pass since I don't know how long I'll be doing this. And uh, local day pass. Check out the, pull out some money here. Oh, I guess I have a, this this big twenty dollar bill. Go. I do believe 20 is the highest uh, bill you can put in there for anybody who's interested in knowing. Um, and uh, if you do put a $20 bill in there, just remember, you're going to get all this change. These dollar coins. $15 in coins here. It's pretty cool. I guess I can put that in my fanny pack. And of course my ticket, don't forget your ticket. All right, so now we can take a look. Cedars, Fair Park, uh, Orange Line. Orange Line is in six minutes, oh nice. So check this out, guys. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. I always like to be at this end, because I like to be at the front of the train. I get a little get a little motion sickness if I don't get to see where I'm going. These plants. Some plants there. I wonder... I wonder if there's a water fountain around here. Maybe there is. Sometimes places will uh, kind of give less incentive for the homeless to stick around and uh, uh, leave out the public restrooms and leave out the, uh, uh, leave out the um, uh, water fountains. So it discourages the homeless to come around that. And I know it's it's a it's a sad thing, but we also have to bear in mind the uh, cost of uh, keeping these places nice and clean. And, uh, and, and unfortunately, typically speaking, they, uh, they can be a little uh, um, uh, messy, I guess I should say. And that's okay. That's up to them. I don't know their circumstances, so I'm not going to judge them. That's pretty cool. Huh? I guess I don't need to be all the way down here. Some ferns. Ah, dang, it's raining. Some ferns there. Uh, it looks like the train will be here in about five, six minutes. And so I'm actually going to end the video there, guys. Uh, a couple shout outs. Mm. Uh, oh, right, yeah. Uh, so apparently I'm not the only one who says walk and talk. I, I, I don't think I did it first because uh, obviously Onus Onus News has been around a lot longer than I have. So, uh, just a quick shout out to Onus News. I didn't mean to steal your walk and talk uh, uh, um, phrase. Uh, I actually uh, am kind of embarrassed. I watch your videos all the time and I, I must have actually gotten it from you. So, I hope you can forgive me <laughs> uh, for that. All right. And uh, maybe another couple shout outs. <laughs> oh, yeah. News now is Houston. Still love you, love you, man. Love your, uh, love your videos, and it's so cool that we share the same name. I, I always love that. I actually kind of found that I was doing a little similar to you uh, when divulging my name. I, I, uh, I hope that's flattering and not, uh, not uh, anger-inducing. Uh, and, and you, you actually, I don't talk about you enough. I really appreciate your business, like, excuse me, your, the work that you do with, with uh, uh, the movement. Uh, hopefully maybe one day we can talk or or to or we need to do that. Because Houston isn't that far away from where I am. In fact I actually kinda of heard of uh, them working on a train to Houston. So that would be pretty cool. Uh, maybe let's see if there's another shout out. Shout out to all the firefighters out there. That's always a nice good thing. I've uh, visited three so far and uh, they all seem to be pretty cool. The, uh, oh, sorry. Um, let's see, maybe one more before I uh, shut it off. I guess, uh, 
of course, Hyde Desert community and uh, all of his, all of his uh, um, uh, people that follow him uh, or uh, uh, you know, go on the group audits with us. Uh, furry Potato, of course, there's always Furry Potato. You know, another one of the oddballs. I, uh, I really think he's great. All right, I guess I'm going to cut it off there so it's not too terribly long. Uh, and remember, if you ever want to donate, there's uh, uh, plenty of people that donate. I still don't have a have a page up yet uh, for my art, but if I ever do, I'll let you know. I, I've never done it before, so it's going to take a long time uh, knowing me. All right, I'm going to put you next time.